Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be walking through with you guys my root touch-up process for how I retouch my bleach roots on super short hair. So if you're interested in that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up and stick around and let's hop right into it. So today I'm going to be using the Limage Maxi Blonde just because this is the cheapest bleach and it was on sale at the drugstore and I'm going to be swapping out the developer in the box for this 30 volume by Salon Care. I'm going to be using some foils and a brush and a bowl today instead of like the applicator bottle that comes in the box. And this particular bleach comes with an activator gel as well as a powder. Most bleaches that you would usually use would just be a powder and a developer, but just pointing that out in case you guys are curious of what that was. So here I'm just mixing together my formula. I'm not actually a big fan of the consistency of this because it is designed to be used with an applicator bottle. It uh, doesn't matter if you use less developer, it's still pretty runny, but whatever, this is what we're working with today. So I'm going to be starting at the, around the perimeter of my face, but just at the hair where it is completely natural. So you can see my virgin hair is a around my ears and then um, at the back of my head as well. And that's just from my last haircut. So I'm going to be tapping all of that first with the bleach before I go in. And these are the areas that I find on my head as well that tend to dry out. The bleach dries out the fastest there. So I'm going to be incubating these with a foil, but I just want to make sure that these areas are like totally fully, fully saturated. And then I'm going to be hitting that with a foil. So I just did like a V section in the back of my head and then the two sides of my head. And now I'm going to be painting out this section that I'm going to be doing across the front of my head. So I'm going to be starting with my fringe and I'm trying to just hit the root and get as close to the root as possible. I have a couple millimeters of banding as well that I'm going to be trying to hit so that we can get a nice even like inside of a banana blonde. My hair before doing this root touch up is very toned out. So so I've toned out any kind of yellowness or anything and I'm going to be kind of going for more like raw kind of like a Barbie platinum today. So I am going to be quickly doing a just kind of bleach shampoo running the bleach through the ends of my hair at the very end. But for now I'm just going to be focusing on the regrowth. So I went straight back a couple inches from my fringe and then I started sectioning from the sides and now I'm just going to go straight back all the way to the very end of my scalp and that will be all of the regrowth covered in bleach except for the very back of my head that little v section that i didn't uh hit in the very beginning so this is what it's looking like so far as you can see we are starting to process it's getting like a golden orange kind of color not the color we want now i'm just finishing off that last section in the back using a mirror now the golden rule when you are lightening your hair here i've just ran it through to the very ends right at the very end of my processing but the golden rule is when it looks like it's ready wait another five to ten minutes because if you rinse it out it'll probably be yellow so this is the color that i got it looks pretty even from root to tip so i'm pretty satisfied with how that turned out that's the back of my head just doing a little twirl for you guys now i'm using the l'oreal color radiance purple shampoo this is a pretty inexpensive one it's a pretty good bang for your buck a lot of cheap purple shampoos don't work in my opinion so I'm taking this and running it along the sides of my hair where it's just been freshly bleached just one application and those are the most stubborn when it comes to toning so I'm just hitting that first with the strongest saturation and then I'm going to be running this through the ends of my hair my hair is dry in this clip and then I'm going to be going for a shower rinsed it out and like I said I kind of wanted a Barbie blonde so I didn't leave this in too long just for like a gentle toning effect so we got like a really nice platinum going on it's not as over toned as I had it before. Before I was kind of going for more like a white slash silver look and now I'm really liking this bright Slytherin. Hi, I'm Draco Malfoy serving. Just use some Gotta Be Glued to finish that off and that is my process. And before we end this video, I got a PR package that I wanted to share with you guys. So I wasn't really expecting anything, but this giant package just came in the mail and I'm wondering if it's like an early PR package. It's very heavy. I am expecting a PR package for IPL, but I wasn't expecting it this early. And this is very heavy, so I'm not sure what it is, but let's take a look. 
Okay, this is what we got. Diamond Air IPL 